In the next set of plans to bring Argentina out of the current economic crisis, the country's central bank changed its key monetary policy tool. Now, is that a good decision or is there more to it? The Monetary Authority formally employed the 28-day Lenic rate to set its policy, but that will no longer be applicable. Instead, the bank's new policy benchmark will be one-day repo notes, which presently have a 100% interest rate. The repo rate is the rate at which the central bank lends money to commercial banks or financial institutions against government securities. The latest move intends to increase demand for treasury notes and free up pesos for Argentine banks. Immediately after the measure, the government announced a peso debt auction on Wednesday with maturities of up to three years. The reason for the swap is that Argentine banks had been fleeing lekkies or the 28-day auctions in the weeks preceding and after new president Javier Millier's inauguration following several regulatory changes, including a fiscal adjustment and currency devaluation, the latest move will improve demand for pesos. However, a fundamental component of Argentina's $44 billion deal with the International Monetary Fund stipulates that policy rates must surpass annual inflation. The central bank's latest shift in its policy instrument seems to violate that agreement. The new rate narrowly beats November's annual consumer price number. According to economists, inflation will surpass 200% by the end of the year. If nothing changes, this will push the rate well into the negative territory.